Welcome, Pastor Ron Lewis, back again with uh, our distinguished guest. Ron, why don't you introduce, uh, we have another campus right. segment here, introduce these folks. Sure. Uh, what, a, what a great, great blessing. These are some of the frontline guys in the kingdom of God who go out every day into the university settings. This is Brian Scott. Campus pastor here in New York City. He's, uh, it's, it's incredible, the harvest here. There's more than a million students in the greater New York City area. And I think you work with about 10 campuses. This is Josh Goodwin. He also is the sidekick for Brian Scott. He's in the New York City area also. And here's my good friend, Rollin Fisher. Rollin has been working in the uh, North Carolina campuses there in Raleigh, Durham. He's been focusing on two in particular at University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, which is where he went to college, and also Duke University. So there's a big rivalry there, and he's working on those campuses and also actually pioneering a new area in the Big Ten campuses in the Chicago area as well. Right. Talk about campus harvest. You can explain campus harvest. Um, Campus Harvest is a, is, is a ministry that is designed to help local churches to do ministry on the area campuses. And, and a lot of times pastors just don't know how to quite make that step, take that step of faith and work in the university settings. They'll let college students actually come to them. But what a lot of people don't realize is the campuses are open to churches being involved if they go through the proper channels. So Campus Harvest makes that connection. We have an annual uh, student conference. Uh, that you'll probably hear a little bit about here uh, this, this, this evening with uh, more than 2,000 students come from about 250 different campuses up and down the East Coast primarily. And also we have short-term missions. We have training mechanisms in place uh, to train students on how to become student leaders, campus leaders on their campus to take the revival and the things of God right into the classroom setting, into the fraternities, the athletic teams, and into various places on the university I think campus. we have a roll in right now. Let's look at that. Uh, just a small piece of what, what God is doing on the university campuses, and we're just one little component of what God is raising up. And it's just so exciting, as we said in the last portion, that wherever sin is, grace does abound all the more. And uh, there are just some tremendous pastors and ministers. And by the way, everybody's invited to come to any Campus Harvest conference or training event. Just go online at campusharvest.org, and you can find out more ways to get your uh, loved ones involved, those who are students and they don't know how to connect uh, with the move of God on their campus. So we're delighted tonight that uh, these are, are three of uh, s several hundreds of, of young campus evangelists who are dedicating their full-time life and their, their families and they're going to the front line. And uh, Brian, you've been involved here in New York City, which has just been, what a harvest field this has been. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was a few years ago that I moved here to New York, and I really felt like that being in such a city with great grandeur, that I wanted to see where is God moving, and, and how could I be a part of what he's doing in this city on the campuses. 
as I, as I moved here, I, I started to realize that God on the, on the university campuses, he gave me a scripture from Matthew where it talks about how the kingdom of heaven is like a little bit of leaven that a woman took and hid in a lump of dough. And then that leaven begins to work its way through. And in reality, reaching college students is a lot like that. You know, it's hidden. It's not something that you hear about in the public square, what's going on in the university campus. But it's definitely true. What happens on the university campus today is going to affect and impact society 10, 15 years from now. As I moved here, we began to see a move of God at the United States Merchant Marine Academy. It's one of the five military academies here in the U.S. These men and women, they graduate and they go oftentimes into the, the, the armed forces. They travel all over the world during their stay in the university. And there was a period of time where God just started touching a handful of students. We would meet together and they would start praying together on campus night by night, reading the word together. And, and God started moving. There was a three week period where someone was being led to the Lord, at least one person every day. And then after that, um, this Bible study that was led by students started to grow from just a handful or a small gathering to over 150. Now, mind you, there's only seven or 800 students out of the whole entire campus. So this was a move of God that was shaping and impacting the, the, the culture, the attitude, the atmosphere on that campus. After that happened, we, we started to see spillover where students would get excited from other schools and they saw what God was doing. They said, God, if you could do that there, you can do that on my campus at St. John's. You can do that at Columbia University. And I remember one young man, he, he rose up and he said, God, I want to see you touch my campus, St. John's University. And he started believing God and praying for God to send leaders, for God to send laborers. And, and people started getting saved. People started receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit and just growing in the fire of God. It's just been amazing. And I think that the key for, for student ministry is really that students become leaders, that they take yeah. ownership of their campus and of the, of the, of the kingdom of God, of the, of the gospel going forth on their campus, that they would say, God, you've not just sent me here to study, but you sent me here as a missionary to impact those that are here on this campus from all over the world and from all walks of life. Amazing. Incredible.